What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So the runoff happened last time, I have expanded my army into Michael Stowell quite significantly, and he's going to go by ship to take Christiana and knock the Dutch out Danish out of the game. I've also built up an army under Sir John Moore. And I've landed off the coast of France and he will be attacking direct French territory. And then once this guy's captured Norway, he's going to come back and garrison Copenhagen. Then this will free up Arthur Wellesley to come around and land in Gibraltar. Because I will want to expand into Spain and fight like a mini peninsula campaign. Because I do realise I do have not much time left to complete my campaigns. Well, it feels like not much time. Because um, I have shot for like a world domination, so... I need to capture 60 regions, and I currently have 5, so I'm completely preparing myself to not do it. <laughs> to not complete it, but I'll be happy with it, because this is my first campaign. As long as I don't get smashed, which is, as Britain, it's hard to do, um, I'll count it as a win. Because <laughs> the only times I've played Napoleon is as in the Great War, the Great War mod, um, which is fun for the first few hours but then the fact that it's not the real game starts to leak through and things aren't quite right and you know these things happen so spain's fourth king spain's fourth. spy network established having spent several weeks associating with blackguards and bounders in the underbelly of the city your spies established a reliable network of infrastructure he will now be able to provide you a steady stream of intelligence about the region well, that's really cool. Such as what? Will be able to just, is it just telling me all this? Even so, I think that's quite cool. So I'm starting to spread my trade tentacles about. Basically, I just want to, I want to build up a bit of each commodity. And I'm not, I don't want to be too... Oh, that's one's already occupied, isn't it? Uh, oh, it's the, the inner seas. 50 gun filth rates. Let's build a... Let's keep it an 80 gun third rate. Because this is my... This is my next battle fleet that I want to be ready. I've got Nelson as one battle fleet, then I want this one of George Elphinstone to be my second. So I've got Comet, Colossus. No, I don't. It's Comet, Hibernia. So I want to do that. Get rid of the name. So it just says HMS Hibernia. Uh, second race, third race. Let's get another 106 gun. Let's move on and hit re -ren. And that's... I'm just going to take it. Um, oh! Turns the region into your protectorate, emerging as a new allied nation controlled by a government sympathetic to your cause. Okay, I'm going to peacefully occupy. Because it's French territory. And France is the enemy. So I'm more... Okay, let's, and let's take this dockyard and torch it and let's bring this skinny view this frigate over here I've torched it because I've got Portsmouth here turning up ships and I've got Glasgow turning up ships and I don't right now they're not my bottleneck like they're churning them out it, oh let's get HMS elephant for this fleet cool So how much money am I getting through trade? 10,000. But I'm increasing my supplies of goods, sugar, and ivory is the biggie. So I'm going to guide you both down to go fill up my ivory spot. So you've been secured. Obviously, don't. If you guys. I know that last time there was little to no action, but that's. And that French battle is not going to be. Uh, is not my my response my response is going to be the attack on the Dutch so my frigate's going to drop them off of the coast then get my fence back in the dark 
It's recruited Fensible as a garrison unit because they're not too bad. Region captured. Trait gained. Brave soldier, Sir John Moore. This panel shows you the Good lad. Little sergeant. Cool. If I recruit Admiral General, who do I get? Alexander Abercrombie, George de Dreiberg, and George Townshend Walker. I'll probably get Ad Alexander Abercrombie. Sounds more interesting. But if I can get Wellesley down here and hit Gibraltar, that would be lovely. Now where's Portugal? Portugal. Let's see if we can ally. No, oh, fair enough. But we're very friendly. I with Naples, Sicily, Sweden. And everyone we're not allied with in Europe, we're enemies of. But yeah, if I want to attack Spain. When I take Gibraltar, that'll be British. When I take Madrid, that'll be... I'll liberate that to a friendly Spanish government. And to be honest, I'll probably liberate the other two Spanish territories, but everything else, the French territories I'll take for my own, the Dutch and the Brussels I'll probably liberate. And then as I march through... Austria and Prussia, I'll probably be claiming those as well. Basically, I'll be liberating the countries I like, and well, not that I like, but I think of as cool, kooky little independent nations that would be fun to have. And a strong Spain would be handy, particularly if it meant I didn't have to fight. Well, I would like to fight and capture the Santissima Trinidad, um, but whether or not they'd be dumb enough to let me, I don't know. We'd have to find out. Yeah, that's fair enough. You've got my frigate trapped in an inlet. Doesn't matter though, the deadly purpose has been met. Ha, <laughs> and he's off. He's not having any of it. <laughs> They'll never find me in here. Ooh. This is this is this is pretty pretty good. Cause they're gonna come at me with a bunch of militia. And then they're gonna come at me again with even more militia, and I'll be already set up and have my formation warmed up and win, I think. I suppose the, the question is now. Well, I'm doing well, there isn't a question. Let's just fight it and see what happens. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, rain. Don't complain about rain, my battle advisor. You're immediately going to go, rain means musket sound is effective. And you're like, no shit. They don't have much in the way of artillery either, so. Damn this brother, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. There he is. <laughs> Damn this powder, sir. Ooh, if I can get a light infantry into that house, that'd be a lovely little exit. Lovely little uh, flank. Oh, look at this. This is like a dream. So let's put a unit of cover on the right, unit of cover on the left. Everything is so symmetrical. Enemy reinforcements, they're coming in directly from behind. Not in range. But they soon will be. Here's an interesting question though. Is this one of those games where the AI can dump all of their reserves on the table at once? Or is it like Empire where they come in kind of a bit hodgepodge? Let's triple speed it. Let's triple speed it to see how many, just how many start to come on the field I suppose. So we've got... I think they might just keep coming. Well, I don't know, actually. They've not got anywhere near as many units as I have yet. Sorry, may as well just go have a look at watch them coming in, I suppose. 
Oof. Proper line infantry. Line, line, line. Militia. Is that it? So I take that to mean there is a limit to how many units they have on the field, otherwise they would just there would be another unit coming in and then another unit and another unit. Come at me, Denmark. <gasps> they disappeared. They've got some kind of witchcraft. This thing, Denmark, you've attacked me. If you take forever, it's still my win. I'm not going to attack you. You've got lots of troops. And I just want you to march at me. I can blow you to pieces. But it looks like they're going to do the whole... They're going to do the redeploy game. So... Triple speed it. Watch them form their silly line that won't last past the first contact. So let's have a look. It's going to be one long formation, but again, mine's pretty long too. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to chop it here. And when uh, they start moving forward, I'll bring you guys back. So, see you in a second. Radio, they've started to move, and they have now passed into the sights and range of my gunners. So this poor unit of militia. Oh no, actually, it might be these guys might be getting shot at first. But what I want to do is this unit here on the on the right. You just start pounding the regular old battle line. So start hitting. Them and them. They start running. Some of them, no, they're just walking very fast. The ones on the left, are you within range of their other, their artillery? That's what I'd like you to shoot at for now. So they've stretched their battle line out quite wide. So let's bring my... start to spread my Light Dragoons out on the flanks, because I might need them. No point in me occupying this house, because a bunch of them are just stuck outside. Okay, so they're starting to hit my troops. They've, fortunately, they've all missed so far. And they're slightly out of range, but let's see how... Uh, oh yeah, they are completely out of range then, because the guns aren't even targeting them. So this is going to be the, third and the ninth regiment of militia that's going to be first one in contact. Oh, God. Look at that. I don't know how many they're going to get up. All of them bar two, three are getting up from that. A cannonball to the face. So this is the leading unit, a very experienced unit. Four chevrons at full whack. I might hit into that militia unit then if they're gonna, they're on their own, on the flank. It would be nice to be able to turn this, to roll up this flank and work inland. Oh yeah, they got some shots off. I lost one dragoon. 
Three Dragoons, four Dragoons, but we are going to make contact. Excellent. So if we drop down to about 80, I'm probably going to run away. Oh, go on, finish them off, lads. We've dropped below 80, so just get out of there. I still want them to be reasonably strong. So we should be soon getting ready to open up on them with our line infantry. Yep, the 9th Regiment of Militia is going to get a full taste. So what I might be about to do is this. You just pivot my line. There we go. We <laughs> open fire on the ninth, unsurprisingly, because they're all alone. Pass the shot. Oh, yes. So I'm not so concerned about making sure I kill them all. I'm more concerned about making sure I do as much damage as possible. So the generals dropped a command thing onto them, which makes a lot of sense. So this is the this is the big deal here. If we can break... What's me if we can break a few flanks? If we can break this militia unit and start to, you know, curve my divisions, my regiments around. That'd be great. Got some routing in the center. Dragoons are starting to make their appearance. When they waver, that would be excellent. I might even send one unit of dragoons to the back. No, he's not. He's just being shot at. So if I can make. Okay, those dragoons have routed, so let's stretch. Start to curve one flank around. Bring my dragoons back into the mix, and then hit that unit of militia. Yeah, my job isn't to kill as many as possible; it's to kill as many as possible as efficiently as possible. guy back. Oh, look at that mass route. I'm assuming they're going to come back. I want to send this guy over to go hit the general and go take out their guns. That'd be a win for me. So I'm, I'm going to assume these guys will come back. Oh, that's a annoying formation. So let's get you guys out of formation.
I've got to be prepared for their reserves to come in still. See, this is why I like slightly angling them off, so they can fire. If they get, if my central lines get charged, I can fire canister safely into their block of troops. Go tag their go tag their infantry. Then that, this the my cavalry's gonna come over there and steam through them. I want to hit their guns, make their guns rout. I think that would be a good win. Obviously, gotta be gotta be careful of their reinforcing army. But holy moly! Good, good, good. Now come over this way. You're going to learn lots of kills if you go that way. Still blasting canister shot. Switch to round shot though. I see a fair chunk of them have come back. Um... But they're very demoralised. They've suffered a lot of damage. Oh, okay. Let's get my... Cavalry out of dodge. Halt fire, because you're running out of ammo. Be honest, I might start moving up some infantry to start engaging their reinforcements as they join the field. Let's get to you guys. Round shot, engage their round, engage their infantry. Okay, you fire at will because you're within range, as are you. So who's that coming? Yeah, it's a couple of units routing. It's a unit of militia coming in. But yeah, if I start moving troops up, let's get into a good position. Troops have a reasonable amount of ammo left. What are you doing in that formation? These guys firing away. To be honest, they might not have as many. They might not have as many reinforcements. Oh no, there you go. They do have reinforcements. Slice them up and don't get too close to their infantry. So go after them instead. So 
These guys are both opening up on them. God, it's a lot of men. These guys getting shot to bits by militia. Some of them are not flying. To the point where I think actually I wanna probably not be not be cocky and do this and let my artillery pound them from a distance. Pull one Dragoon unit out, smash them with another. Let's pull back so everyone can re support each other more effectively. You guys need to leg it. There's only getting caught out by fresh units of infantry. Oh, I limbered you up, didn't I? Because I'm a fool. This unit of infantry is already on. It's melee only. Or well, they've only got like one volley left. Whatever they've got loaded. It's a round shot. Pound the hell out of that militia unit there. Actually, if, I can, if I stretch you back a bit like that. Is coming in. It's a lot of militia. It's a lot of troops. So my artillery need to be the absolute killers. By the looks of it, they're going to go try form up. Waver and route, waver and route, waver and route. I need my artillery to soften up their morale quite significantly. Because the main problem is, is I'm running out of ammo. I never realised how uh, how pressed for time your unit, how pressed for ammo your guys were. Militia, 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 militia. But I don't know if that's it or if they got more to come. I sure as hell hope they didn't have more to come. But let's triple speed it. I think that's it. 
because the unit's just routed and nothing's come on. But I'd like to think this is pretty much the garrison of Copenhagen. So... You know, it's not as if I'm fighting this with another with another equivalent army sat waiting. The only saving grace is how poor the morale is on the infantry. Because that's what's going to make the difference. You know, give them a couple of volleys and they'll run. Okay, so you hit them. You go for the unit behind them. I may as well switch to canister shot and get that on the go because they'll be within. They'll be in canister range and not very long. So you aim at the unit in the distance. You keep aiming at this one close. Oh, that was a smashing shot. I might want to do something like this to maximize my firepower. Switch to canister. Actually, you do round shot, start pinging that militia unit at the back. You switch to canister shot, and start hitting close. Good. Whew. Good. Route, 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 route. you firing at them, let's get you firing round shot at them. Because some of these guys are running really low, but one of these units is out, more or less. Fall back so they don't get an advantage on you. Let's run my cavalry out. Goes to show, militia can be useful if you simply run out of ammo. So they're running up. To be honest, making them both fire a great canister shot. You're shaken, as you should be. You should run. That's what you should do. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Revolutionary guard. You can stand in the line. You may at least potentially draw some fire off of units that are ready to fire. You are within canister range on the flank.
Oh, they're steady again now. For now. Shaken. Shot into the center. Keep going, Gunner. Round shot in the distance. This is the 33rd! 33rd, sir! Yep, so they're going to sit there to at least maybe absorb some of the fire that some of the other units may get. Dragoons. Got this unit. These two units of militia got within point blank range without having any damage. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Infantry elite. My center. No, actually, you can stand firm. You need to load and fire a canister shot as fast as your arms can do. Keep the morale going low. Because a couple of my units just aren't shooting anymore. And this, these guys that do have ammo. Yeah, they do have ammo. They need to. They need to hightail it into the centre. Well, actually, you need to protect them. Two hundred seventy-five regiment, of, two hundred seventy-five left of a regiment versus the second plus the second light foot against a unit of militia. If this is empire, I'd have said they'd have got it, but you never know. You brave sods, you have to stand there with empty rifles. fire I will turn on for my light infantry. There we go. Look at that. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. God, so much of my center just doesn't have ammo anymore. Like you don't, so drop your back. You do. You don't. You don't. So let's start to pivot. Ah. 
Oh yes, these guys are marched in range of my guns. And my flanks aren't doing anything useful either. Gun loaded. They haven't even got fire all turned on. My mistake. Pour fire into them in close range, sir. The 9th Regiment of Foot. This is what happens when I mess around with my formations too much. I make stupid mistakes like that. There you go, this unit's the last unit remaining. Oh, that's it. Oh, if they give me a chance to uh, to continue, which they will. Continue. Even my general. Let's get him committed. Chop them down. That's the order of the day. Let as few as possible get back to Christina. King's German Legion like Dragoons. Slaughter them! Every man I kill is another man that I don't have to fight later on. One thing I do need to get used to is using these these general abilities because they're not something I've ever really used and I've always been really suspicious in Empire if they actually even model the you know, as long as the general's on the battlefield, that seems to be all they care about. Yeah, this is on double speed because well, there's no point, no point in watching this in real time. There's only six men left, General. You've done a really good job. Guys, run out. So he wants to come over here and fly with them, as does the general. But I doubt. I doubt they'll get there in time. <laughs> I mean, my suspicion is that they will. They'll be. They'll have left the map because they've split up into two clumps. I mean, I can't decide which one they prefer. So let's run you. Run you after one group. So I just let them just run through me, then charge them. We do clear a lot of them out. What I want to do is clear up this this group. It feels like if I clear up this group, then obviously the we've got... Fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. No! Never fatigue. K 
kill them all. There we go, now it's just this group up here. Which are going to be harried all the way to the border. Unless they split again. <laughs> but yeah, they've gone up from 30 down to 12, 11, 8, 6, 5. Oh, make them the general. <laughs> General's having none of it, just steamballed straight into them. Close Vic. Well, it was kind of close. If it sounds more like it. Yeah, it, was. it is a dangerous. It is a close victory, but you know, bloody hell, it's one way to get it. I lost 798. They lost 7,473. Holy moly. They're all falling back. <laughs> a little bit of raiding. Just a little bit. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Oh, yeah, this is my uh, control over the French region. So my rubbish guy in charge of the treasury. Got just a really rubbish government at the minute. This should help though. Getting the ships down onto the trading trading node for ivory. There you go, back up to 9,000, so a reasonable amount per turn. <laughs> Just knock out that carronade frigate. Just take the money. They are, they're replenishing, but I think I need to just go finish them off. You know, if I just sit here and just let them keep attacking me, then, you know, things will ever get more and more and more wrong. Um, but I think I am going to attack them, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Zhoosh, that's a long battle. And, uh, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>